Welcome back to round number three. Quick turnaround, like I like I promised. A quick turnaround. Let's suggest that uh, Cameron and Robert. Oh, is he playing really the see Jess guy? His beautiful face. We were being told this was an exciting match, and I'm theorizing that it is not. Who told you it was going to be an exciting match? They did. Oh. When these guys found out they were our feature, they were like, "Oh, this matchup is sweet." I'm like, oh, "Well." Who are you to judge, sir? I was. Who are you to judge? I just think this is going to be real. You know, does Robert have the counter spells or not? If he's on that deck. I think Remand is a big deal in this matchup. Okay. So while they're shuffling up, we're it might game be like the more tempo Jeskai deck. With actual burn, so it's like a burn mirror kind of. Oh, sure. It is tempo, according to Matthew Manier. So while they're shuffling up, I want to remind you guys that we're broadcasting from GameSwap Mason tonight, where you can find a wide variety of Magic the Gathering singles, sealed product, as well as video games, board games, tabletop games, movies, uh, some Funko Pop figures. Some big Texas cinnamon rolls. <laughs> you can get a big Texas cinnamon roll if you got a hankering for one. Um, it's conveniently located north of Cincinnati on Route 42, Mason, Ohio. Also called Redding Road. Also called Cincinnati Columbus Road. Agreed. One of those roads that changes name depending on what part of town you're in or who you're talking to. You are welcome, Teddy. Oh, Teddy. Oh, jeez. We're going to make all the noise. Alright. We're... Wow. Wowzers. Dropping dice into wood bowls makes some loud noises. I think we're the only ones that can hear it, though, so that's fine. Yeah. I'll sacrifice my eardrums for all of you at home. What a martyr. Marauder, even. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Uh, so, Zach's, Zach's hand, looking at a hand with no white mana. It's not the end of the world because he has the one drop and I believe a bolt. Oh, he's throwing it back. Yeah, that's probably wise. I, yeah. uh, I don't mind throwing back like a marginal one like that with this burn deck. Every card counts. Every card counts, but like, w would you replace any one of those white cards with a land? With a another mountain? No. Right. So he basically had like four or five cards in his hand that he couldn't cast. Four. Three. Three cards he couldn't cast. And yep. uh, and that's a, that's enough that it feels like you're already mulliganed. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this the burn deck doesn't really mulligan very well though. Is my only issue with it. Sure. It mulligans well in that it has a lot of hands that it can keep, but it also needs a lot of cards. It needs every card in its hand sure. to do something. Yep, absolutely. Zach really putting the uh, the old think tank to work here on this one drop. Looks There's like a riff, riff bolt. Riff bolt. I'm into is that the choice. Uh, his other option was Monastery Swift Spear. Uh, Zach, wow, Robert being aggressive with his lightning bolt. So the part that confuses that uh, that really gets me is he's played two untapped Shocklands now. Yeah, he's. That it's basically like minus one card that Zach needs to kill him, whereas if he just takes a turn off, untaps, and has untapped. Untap steam vents with lightning bolt in hand. Mm -hmm. He can take care of any goblin guide, any swift spear, or threaten a spell pierce on on one of the the spells. And then if he doesn't like any of those options, the bolt can go to the face just like it did. Robert is going hard on these cards in hand, not willing to let them stay still for even a moment. Yes, this is a guy that will benefit from these KMC hards. <laughs> Zach going down to 13 to get his white land. Let's see if it's worth it. Mm -hmm. 
There's a swift spear. Playing around this logic knot pretty well. Doesn't know it exists. This one will Here's likely one. get the knot though. Yeah, Robert's not gonna let that resolve. Haha. <laughs> get in there for one. Uh, interestingly enough, with this mountain draw, uh, Robert's not able to both pass and represent Logic Knot. Yeah, what he is representing is the Spell Queller, so I think if he were to... If I'm Zach, I'm going to play a land. I'm going to try this Lava Spike. And then if Spell Queller comes down... Alright, now we get to swing in for two. Yep, here's the two. And a path. He's gonna take the path all the way to exile. I don't see if Zach's playing a planes tonight. If you're Zach, nope. do you fire off the I don't think you would get the planes anyway. Uh, do you fire off the Lightning Helix here? Um, I would fire off the Lightning Helix into a Remand. Um, if I thought he had it, but not a Mana Leak. Okay. Alright, Robert missing his fourth land drop. I don't know how critical that is. So now, so what Zach really needs to have happen is he needs to disguise this. Mm. See, passing there is bad. I would have, I would have cast something. I would have lightning helix him in at a turn, maybe. Um, something like that. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know. I don't know how how much of the deck list Zach knows. I don't know that I would be playing around a second logic knot for sure. And if he was playing around mana leak, he would have played his land. Queller, that's exactly what Zach wants to see. He's a right. bolt away from winning this now. Oh, so now he can. And is that it? Oh, it's a rift bolt. Man, that's the one that doesn't get him there. So he's chosen to suspend this, and that's not his only choice he could have he could have waited alright so Robert gets to untap he does have a lightning helix in hand which will put him out of range he's at 2 right now yeah this this 8 is deceptive because he's at 2 Zach So Robert or Zach needs a big draw. Oh, okay. Here's a logic knot, and he's gonna have logic knot for six. All right. Robert's at two again with an empty hand. We've got some top decks. Here comes the Queller. Everybody's at two. Now Zach has an infinite number of live draws here. That'll do and it. Zach will get it. Very interesting. Off of a million rift bolts. Yes.
Very interesting match. Very interesting. I think the onus is on Robert. I think... Uh, I don't think Zach can really do a lot to change the way the match uh, plays out. But I think Robert definitely has a lot more choices in his lines. Yes. Um, depending I think on he made what... the wrong choices early. Um, he played the, the back half of that game pretty tightly, but he took a lot of damage off of lands in the early going when he didn't really need to. Yeah, getting out ahead and keeping the uh, keeping the lightning bolt up is... Uh, I, I don't know if he has Geist of St. Traff, but I'm more interested in using my, my spells to kill his creatures and then my counter spells to counter his burn. Right, so you need to... You need to get in there for sure. The only creatures he saw was Spell Queller. Um, didn't see any Snapcaster, although I'm sure it's in there. Uh, didn't see any Geiss. So, I don't know if he's really leaning on these burn spells more to dome his opponent than we're giving him credit for. Right. I think that hand would have benefited for sure from having a fetch land instead of one of the shocks. Mm -hmm. Because then you can keep it open but still make the choice to just get a shock and a play tap. Save yourself a life point. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he has to be aggressive. Maybe he has to play the, the uh, steam vents untapped to protect against goblin guide. Like if goblin guide resolves, it's just the end of the world. Could be. Doesn't seem like the end of the world, but like if you have the bolt, taking two from the goblin guide isn't. It's the, the same. It's the same two either way. If you have the bolt. Right, but you could potentially get a draw off of it. I don't know how many two drops you're, you. Well, you get the hand. you get the the trigger either way too. Sure. So yeah, I guess he doesn't have to protect against goblin guide, does he? No. Oh, I think I saw a Geist there. Yeah. Yeah. He had a five lander on a Geist and a Cryptic Command. So that's not not fast enough to really interact with this Boros deck. I don't know that I would even keep Cryptic Commands in the deck. Although I guess I don't know what he would have to sideboard into. How would you feel about an is it static caster? Doesn't really kill anything. But it's an O3. But it's an O3. It blocks pretty well. Yeah. Um I'm not opposed. How do you feel about Zach's hand? Wow. Uh so we've got Rift Bolt, Eidolon, two Boros charms, two lands at least, maybe three lands. I see two lands. I'm into it. Yeah, he's got all the gas. This is the kind of hand you want. Yeah, some number of Blessed Alliance would be really nice out of the board here. Yeah, Blessed Alliance is such a huge card against the burn deck. Keeping a six, it looks like pretty much the same hand except he traded... A uh, land and a geist for a bolt. Not sure. Yeah, that's how very good different that is. because bolt bolt keeps him. Uh, bolt's gonna help him answer this idol on. Is what's gonna happen. Right, but so it's keeping it rift bolt. keeping it in the dark. It's very possible for a burn deck to just not have a creature draw. Mm -hmm. And then this bolt is way worse than the geist at putting pressure on him. All in all, I just don't like cryptic commands in the deck post sideboard here. Sure, that's something that you're uh, you're taking out. Yeah. I don't know 100% of the deck list, but it would be on my short list of cards that need to come out. Right. All right. Here's 
the Alright, so he chooses to get the land tapped this time. Heads up play. Um, he's gonna take some damage from the from the idol on here regardless, but he's gotta get it out of the way. Like he just can't He can't uh abide. Yes, he cannot just sit back, that's for sure. I think he Man. has a spell pierce in hand now. This is about the best third land Zach could draw. Suspending Rift Bolt. So suspending Rift Bolt puts him to 11. Alright. So, heads up play while uh, while Robert hit one land in play and the uh, Scalding Tarn was on the stack, Zach Boros charmed him. Um, I guess he does not have a spell pierce. It must be a different blue card in hand. Yep. So now we're the fourth land. So this cryptic so command is Robert online. Down um, to six. He may have to. He definitely has to take a point to get it off. And so now Zach Zach's goal is to overload this this type of uh, he, super expensive counter magic he's got. Yeah, you just wait till the end of turn to fire one off, and then untap and fire one or off. Or you just sit here and like let your hand build up to like six or seven of them. And yeah, you're under you no fire pressure. two of them in a turn, like you know what I mean. It, Robert's not doing much. You got all. I might fetch here. All the time in the world. Looks like he added a skull crack. Yeah. Now he can cast all of these in a turn if he needs to. Robert's in a bad place. Agreed. He needs to, uh... Oh, goes to five. Not not too much different from six, but now a single Boros turn turns off all of his fetches. Yeah. Um. He's got to commit something to the board because... Yeah, as he, it he is, desperately needs a Geist. Geist is the card that would get him out of this situation. Well, I don't know if it even does at this point. So, a Geist, uh, he taps down to three. three, and so then you can have, like, a, a Spell Snare, Spell Pierce, whatever, and then a Mana Leak, something like that, or just, like, a Spell Queller. Or just Zach having nothing. Keeps double lightning helix on top. Alright, Zach's gonna go for it. Robert's at five open mana. So now, well. So he chooses not to. Okay, so now he's got three spells. This is. He can't even cast them all. Right. But he can try for two of them at the end of Robert's turn. And then the third one gets gets there, finishes the job. I would try Skullcrack first. Nope. He goes up to four spells. <laughs> so now he can try two of them at the end of Robert's turn. And one of the two hopefully will finish the job. Well, Robert's in an interesting position where he has lightning helixes <coughs> of his own. For days. <coughs> This can uh, this can put Robert back in the game. So let's see. 
If Zach puts lightning heals on the stack and Robert puts the lightning heals over it, then the whole thing's negated. The whole thing's a wash. If Zach puts lightning heals on the stack and Robert puts lightning heals over it, and Zach puts skull crack on top of that, mm -hmm. then he wins the game. If even if Robert has another lightning helix, well, Robert is uh, going for broke here. Helix, you, you know, oh, see, this is smart. Zach played this really well, so he helix him in response first, and so now now Zach can skull crack him. Okay. All right. So I think Robert's misstep there was going first. He was just dead either way. Yeah. There, there was no chance there. That's like, but you have to, uh, if you're the burn player in that situation, you have to stack it correctly so that your skull crack resolves before the lightning helixes do. So the sequencing is important. Or just you just play out another lightning helix, and if he counters it, he counters it, but he gets to untap and then kill him. Right. So that's fine. That's fine. Well, there was an interesting one for you. Yeah, very short, uh, short very and sweet. Short, sweet, tight, condensed decisions in that one. Yeah, a lot of, lot of decisions, but a lot of very quick fire decisions. Pretty good, pretty good match. We've got one more round tonight. All right. And we're gonna come back here about thirty minutes with it. Yeah, we'll be back here in about thirty minutes with the fourth and final round. See you then.